All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about real music in real time for real people just like you and just like me. So um, one of my great patrons by the name of John sent me a very lengthy article uh, about uh, Styx, Tommy Shaw, talking a lot about uh, their new album, and a lot of that to me wasn't all that interesting uh, until you get down to where the interviewer asks Tommy about Kilroy was here. Um, last but not least, Kilroy was here. Um, he says, uh, in retrospect, we should have taken a year off. This is Tommy Shaw. The band was getting burned out. And so the spirit of writing and creating uh, was at its lowest as far as us personally. Uh, we just didn't have each other's cooperation. We always counted on it. Try this, try that. And there wasn't as much of that cooperation on Kilroy was here. But the last sentence is the most interesting. Uh, Mr. Roboto is a timeless song and an incredible arrangement. Considering how we weren't getting along that great, uh, that song helped us make it through the haze. Now, <clears throat> my first reaction uh, to this is revise much, Tommy? I mean, it's good, it's good, it's good. It's on record here. Uh, Dennis DeYoung might fall out of his chair to learn that according to Tommy Shaw, and he said this, in the article, Mr. Roboto is a timeless song and an incredible arrangement. Uh, so with that said, uh, Kilroy Was Here um, was a very different album. And from what I understand, um, there wasn't a lot of input from Tommy and or JY on this record. And... Certainly, I think what happens is Dennis becomes the de facto leader, the de facto songwriter. Uh, his songs are on the radio, and the other guys, they're struggling to create at the same level that Dennis consistently um, creates at. Uh, based on the new music from this new Styx album, uh, put it up against the music that Dennis DeYoung just released, and Right now, I got to tell you, Dennis is way in the lead here. I'll have to hear the entire Sticks album, and I will try to be uh, objective. Yes, I have a bias. I think Sticks is much better with Dennis DeYoung, but they can prove me wrong. Um, they prove that they can make some decent music without Dennis uh, because they did so on the mission. So far, this uh, Crash of the Crown doesn't seem to be... Um, anywhere near what the mission was so far. But I will, uh, again, give it a thorough listen and give you my opinion. Uh, but getting back to this, I mean, this should be a quote that is uh, at least published, you know, rather than uh, the interview about the Crash of the Crown album. Um, it should be something like this. Tommy Shaw admits that Mr. Roboto is a timeless song and an incredible arrangement. And why they don't want to reunite with Dennis at this point, it's getting more and more ridiculous as time goes on. Tommy makes a statement here. You would think that is an olive branch, but according to a news article that I read not too long ago, it was Tommy who said no way to a reunion with Dennis DeYoung. I, I don't, like I say, I don't get it. I understand there's a personality conflict thing going on. And I hear all the time about how Dennis sued Styx so he could kind of have what he deserved, which is recognition that it was much of what he did that made Styx a thing. And everybody's trying to grab onto that brand. And Dennis was faithful to that brand. He resurrected the, the brand in 1990, right, for Show Me The Way, which was a pretty large hit song. And I, I just don't understand how these guys don't recognize that 
Dentists can kind of do this stuff with them and without them. It's better to do it with them because when you have Tommy, JY, and Dennis together, there's creative tension and creative tension oftentimes produces great music. So anyway, I think this uh, admission by Tommy Shaw is a step in the right direction, but I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I don't think that means, hey, you know, I'm going to ring Dennis and we'll just put the past behind, bury the hatchet. And again, keep in mind, for those of you who think that, oh no, Dennis back in sticks permanently. No, Dennis just wants to do a tour with these guys. And then he has said, bye-bye, I'm out. Uh, he's not going to record any more music. Uh, he's put out all the music he needs to record. Uh, he's leaving on a high note. Most of the reviews for 26 East Volume 1 and 2 have been very good. And people realize that this guy um, was really the man behind the curtain uh, when it came to producing the Sticks music and helping other people out. I mean, he's given anecdotal evidence on making a Tommy song better, at least on one occasion, and hopefully trying to keep uh, JY from being your main vocalist for most of the time. Again, if you insert JY here or there, uh, sing a verse over here, maybe just to have something crazy and different. Yeah, I could sign off on that. But you've got Dennis, you've got Tommy, you even got Todd in this current lineup. Like I say, Todd can sing uh, and obviously Gowan. But um, maybe I would take JY over Gowan. <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying that, but I think I would just because um, I don't know. That's how much I don't like Lawrence Gowan, but I may be in the minority there. So that's my video. I wanted to get it out there that Tommy Shaw says that Mr. Roboto, amazing song, incredible arrangement, and uh, good. That's a step in the right direction. Uh, I think it was probably done uh, to placate some fans who love the song. And these guys need to play that song live because right now, culturally speaking, it's probably one of the most identifiable sticks songs in the catalog. And guess who wrote it? And guess who came up with the arrangements? And guess who took the chance to go in a different direction? Well, that would be Dennis DeYoung. Yeah.